singer and songwriter. He's also starring in a movie called Copycat. He will play for us a little later. But first, first we must talk. Please welcome Harry Connick Jr. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. You know, uh, your wife, Jill Goodacre, the beautiful model, pregnant, baby? That's right. She That's is very pregnant. Exciting. We're expecting our first child. But you know, Jay. <laughs> when are you expecting it? More importantly, Jay. <laughs> More important? <laughs> I heard that little wisecrack you made what? about me and the, is that the true Harry and stuff? <laughs> Let me tell you something, buddy, right now. You think you're so tough, huh, Mr. Leno? Oh, very good. You think you're so tough, huh, with your big top Chef, get Johnny Cochran on the phone for me, would you please? <laughs> you know that... Very good. Your pot department is unbelievable. I said, you have like a big butcher knife. They're yeah. like, sure, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> now, who was that? Sure, no problem. Who was that you were doing? That was then? the real me. Was you know, real I have a star in Hollywood, too. <laughs> you do? Yeah, it's in front of the Love Bus there on uh, oh, Santa really? Monica. The love yeah, bus? It's made out of chewing gum, and I kind of carved it into a star, wrote my name. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my hot spots. I hang out there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard anyone with like five different voices in one sentence. You go, my name Harry Kennedy. Hey, that's funny. It's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me ask you about this baby thing. Let's yes. go back now. This is very exciting. It's the most important thing in my life. Well, it is exciting. Yeah, we, uh, we're so excited. Jill's going into her fifth month. Yeah. And uh, all the stories they say about the first three months being the roughest are definitely true. I never yep. experienced any form of humanity uh, <laughs> on any level even remotely similar to what Jill was like those first three months. Like the cravings that she got? Uh, oh, yeah. it's unbelievable. She wanted me to make her some tapioca pudding at like 2 o'clock in the morning one day. I'm like, yeah. wow, you know. So I, I, I had some tapioca pudding and I made it and she starts yelling at me because it wasn't the right recipe with the egg whites. I'm like, I put the egg whites in, I lied to her, you know. So I said, go back upstairs and go to sleep and, uh, and I took like 12 egg whites and I just put them in the pudding, you know. It was unbelievable. You know how she told me she was pregnant? This is so cool. I came back from Europe and uh, at this point she was like six weeks pregnant or something and uh, she made me a big dinner, you know, and I said, well, that's really sweet. And then she put a blindfold on me, and she took me to the other room and sat me down. She took the blindfold off, and there was a gigantic bowl of ice cream with pickles in it. And, and there were all of these little uh, baby shoes, you know, and I kind of looked at it for a minute, and I just, I just couldn't believe it. I, it was, I, I've never been so happy in my life. Are you married to Because I love ice cream and pickles, you know. Are you married? You know. I don't know what the baby shoes... It was, a nice, it was a nice touch, you know, the shoes, but, uh... It sounds like you're married to Laura Petrie on the Dick Van Dyke show. <laughs> I thought only in sitcoms do they, honey, I'm in a, what? Uh, well, I, and then you it put some pickles with the ice cream. It was really incredible. And it was exciting. A, oh, it's, it's, the, it's the greatest feeling in the world. Yeah. I, I've never been happier. It's oh, really well, that's, cool. well, congratulations. We're going to name the baby Jay Leno Connick Jr. I Jr. like that. I like that. Well, if I can play a small role somehow. Did you see Jay in Vanity Fair, anybody? Did you see this... this Sex hunk kind of well, that kind of party, a different party look, show, uh, a candidate. different look, a different look, a different look. Man, that was all right. Well, let me ask you. I want to ask you about your psycho role. Now you were great in this copy game. Thank you. Oh man, now, now, tell me about this scene now. This this is this, this, this scene is. Uh, wow. This scene is where uh, Sigourney plays this expert on criminal behavior, and yeah. Holly Hunter plays a detective, and they're trying to find this killer. And I'm sort of the, the the liaison. I'm in jail, and I'm talking to them through a computer. All right, let's take a look. Here's Harry. The the crazy guy, the real Harry. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cullum. Doc, I've been expecting your call. Hey, from one offer to another, how'd you like my book? What do you know about the man who delivered it? Peter Curtin. What about him? Peter Curtin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Peter Curtin is the name of a serial killer from the 30s in Germany. I'll be damned. He took that man's name. He bothering you? He broke into my apartment to leave your book. Kind of a hand delivery, huh? Did you put him up to it? Doc, oh, this curtain guy, he's been writing me all these letters. I figured, I figured he owed me a couple of favors. So I sent a book with him to your house. I didn't think he'd break in, though. Yeah, steer clear of that son of a gun. He's a freak.
When we come back, you gonna sing a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Okay, with Leroy? Yeah, Leroy Jones, the greatest trumpet player in the world. Oh, we'll be back with more with Harry and Leroy right after. with Leroy Jones. Dream no more, will roll. I will meet you and greet you when my dreamboat comes home. The lit waters will sing about the tender love you'll bring. We'll be sweethearts forever when my dreamboat. Comes home, push your hands together, y'all. Yes, when my dreamboat comes home, when my dream no more. The tender love you bring Yes, we'll be sweethearts forever When my dreamboat comes home Work out, Harry! Thank you guys.